This is Michael. He died of an overdose of Prozac because like one in 20 patients, he had a DNA variation that made the drug unsafe for him in concert with his other medications. I've been in the precision medicine space since 2000 when I first heard Michael's story. Uscript was started to overcome the barriers to widespread adoption of precision medicine that could have saved Michael, telling his providers that he was at risk and how to reduce that risk right in the clinical workflow. Unfortunately, Michael's story is not uncommon. According to the Journal of the American Medical Association, one person dies every five minutes from adverse reactions to properly prescribed medications. That's a full 747 every 34 hours. And even when there's not deaths, about half of the medications we take do not work and are therefore wasted therapies. From about 40% of our antidepressants to three quarters of our cancer medications. And this comes at a great cost. The last time we looked at it, 2009, we estimated that we spent $289 billion on medication-related issues. To put that in perspective, that's what we spent on the drugs themselves. And it's getting worse. The New England Journal of Medicine just reported that there are now 50 million people in the U.S. taking five or more medications every day. That's over twice what it was in 99, and the more medications, the more likely a problem. And even though the FDA has stated for years in drug development guidance that drug gene interactions should be considered the equivalent of drug-drug interactions, for the most part, we don't take that into account when we're treating patients. To understand how bad this is, I'm going to give you a quick lesson. So most of the time when we take medications, they're processed out of our body by five main enzymes in the liver. Think of these like highways. We pretend that all patients have two lanes of these five major highways that process drugs, but some patients have one lane, zero lanes, or three or more lanes genetically. In fact, only 7% of patients have two lanes of these five major highways that process drugs. And drugs are pretty specific to which highways they want to drive on. But it's not just the genetics. Drugs, herbals, over-the-counters, and foods like grapefruit juice send signals to our body to close lanes, open lanes, or just take up an entire highway all by themselves. They say the definition of insanity is doing things the same way over and over again and expecting different results. We've used the same binary drug interaction alerts for decades. There's got to be a better way. Uscript predicts metabolic traffic jams, whether they're caused by drugs, genes, herbals, over-the-counters. And just like our traffic app offers alternatives when issues are found, we provide real-time personalized drug or dose suggestions that reduce the risk. This is Elise. She thought she was in the early stages of Alzheimer's. Her physician wasn't warned that there was a genetic issue that could be causing that. Luckily, her pharmacist recommended testing, and when her med was changed, her memory problems resolved in a few days. It was not her doctor's fault that he didn't know. About half of significant interactions are missed by current tools. He was essentially asked to drive in the pouring rain with one working windshield wiper. And not all patients, even though genetic variations are very common, need to be tested which is why Uscript flags providers the likelihood that genetics could be causing a medication-related issue. When those flagged patient, patients are tested and it's acted upon, we've seen a 39% reduction in hospitalizations, 71% reduction in ER visits, saving over 1,100 per patient in just four months. A follow-up randomized control trial recently published in PLOS One saw a 52% drop in readmissions, 42% drop in ER visits, 85% drop in death, all statistically significant, saving over 4,000 a patient in just 60 days. So they estimate that we save about 15,000 lives a year with seatbelts. And seatbelt laws are the law in most states because when we can improve patient safety, we should. Uscript was created to end avoidable adverse drug events like Michael's and Elisa's. Raise your hand if you've had a bad reaction to a medication, or your loved one has, or it's just not worked for you. It's incredibly common. 
So how do we shift precision medicine from the future to now? Insist that the same is just not good enough. Educate yourself. Go to uscript.com slash educate. Educate your doctors, and if you work at a health system or a health plan, please reach out. Safer medication management begins with you. Thank you.